Woo! Marcus Conti reporting from the Southern District, New York Court. I was in the courtroom. Okay? I saw Sayak, right? I saw him. He answered to the name Caesar Altieri Sayak, right? Caesar Altieri Sayak. That's how the judge read the charges, right? So, so he's there. He's a real person. He, he didn't show any real emotion. He walked in in scrubs. He wasn't cuffed. He looks exactly like he does in the pictures. He's buffy. He's got the gray, gray pulled back hair and a ponytail. He sat with a public defender. The judge rattled off the, the, the um, charges, the, the, the alleged 15 people that he mailed bombs to, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Soros, the whole list, Brandon, all the ones that we know, there's no surprises. Right? So it's 100% ID. He, he is who he, he is. He's a real person. He's really, he's here. He's real. It's him. Right? He walked in. He, they asked, they appointed him a, um, a, uh, a court-appointed lawyer. Right? He has a court-appointed lawyer. Right? So here's the dates, right? He was char he's, he's charged with five, five different counts. And I, I'm not going to read those off because it's really not important. We know what they are. He signed a financial affidavit for his counsel. So the Ronald Lowy angle appears to be off the table. That guy wasn't, none of his family was there. None of the, the Democratic, those operative guys, they're not, they're not even in the picture. They're just spinning from the outside. Right? So... So, there's so thus far, there's no grand jury indictment on any charges. So there's a preliminary hearing. It's set for November 12th. Okay? 14 days from the time of his... Uh, it's October 29th. No, none the, November 12th will be the date of a preliminary hearing. And he's still... It, it's still possible that he can be indicted prior to that date. All right, so that's the particulars, right? What else? His counsel's name is Bongart, Miss Bongart. It's official, right? The biggest profound thing is that, and the headline is, she did not request bail, right? The government recommended that, suggested that no bail based on flight risk and um, and the severity of the crime. That's normal. And his, his attorney, court-appointed attorney, said that they're wavering their, their, their right or argument to seek bail in this case. So he'll be held without... He, he's he's going to be held. He's not, they're not letting him out. Right? You know, that's very profound. In, in my view, that's very profound. So, so those, are, those are the particulars. My, my, I just want to give you my impression, sitting in the courtroom, um, trying to sneak in on the press side, and they fucking yelled at me, <laughs> jerk offs. Uh, <laughs> you know, I tried. But anyway, I had a good seat. I was able to hear his voice. I was able to see his face when he came out, and then when he got up and went back in. He doesn't seem nervous. He seems just like a like a you know like a normal guy. He was polite when the when the judge asked him a question or two. He hugged his attorney on the way out, right? Like a nice guy. He just he rather than shake her hand and he hugged her and then he walked back out into the door on his way, right? So that's how we stand right now. As I said before, this is. This is the they, they, they pulled him out of out of New York out of Florida. There's nobody that he's by himself, right? There's no witnesses. There was nobody at this hearing. And no family. Oh, I thought they were fucking. They're so crying. They're crying. The family's crying, but nobody's here. Where are they? Where's Mr. Lowy? He's trying so hard to get that he's trying to get in there and talk to talk to uh, 
Sayoc. So that's it for now. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.